So you're leaving, huh? Yeah. Are you even gonna tell me? I was waiting for you to get back so I could say goodbye. Yeah, you at least always do that. So go. Don't you even want to know why? I know why. I don't think you do. Just like all the other times, Rachel. You're the anywhere but here girl. You're restless, you're bored. It is what it is. That's not it. Then what is it? Is there another guy? No. Then what? It's another girl. What? You're telling me... The other girl isn't for me, Luke. It's for you. Okay, now that's crazy. Yeah? Yeah. No! You feel you need a different excuse this time to mix things up a little? Fine. But you are not leaving because of me. I'm sure you tried, Luke. Oh, I dated a little. Okay, well... <laughs> I didn't expect you to join a man vent or whatever the male equivalent of that is called. Who did you date? A monastery. You dated a monastery? No. A monastery is the male equivalent of a convent. Thank you, Mr. Medina. I'll make a note for the quiz on Friday. I didn't know if I'd ever see you again. No, I get it. Yes, we were apart. And, uh, you know, I didn't exactly remain inactive. So you did date Luke? No, I did not date Luke. Well, you can tell me. I did not date Luke. There was a vibe. There was no vibe. What is with the questioning? You won't tell me who you dated. There's no one you know. Okay, well, did you date, like, casual nothing-type dating, or did you date, like, get-down, soul-train kind of a dating? I wouldn't phrase it that way, but to be honest, it was the latter. Good, good. Okay, well, I like your honesty. Because, I mean, you could have lied and, and left that part out to spare my feelings, which would have been unnecessary. So, thank you. That was good. I slept with Rory's dad. Let's change the subject. On my parents' balcony. I want to change the subject. Okay, well, you started it. <laughs> I did not mean for this to become a who slept with whom contest. Well, how'd it get that way? I don't know. <laughs> Why do we do this? Why do we let it get weird between us just when it's getting good again? I don't know. I don't like it. I don't either. And I'm sick of it. Well, so am I. I mean, we can't keep getting this close just to have something completely derail us again. And frankly, there's only one thing I can think of that it could solve it. Break up. <sighs> well, I'm not interested in a murder-suicide kind of thing. We should get married. Give me a clue as to whether you're kidding or not. I am not kidding. Good clue. What do you say? Nothing. Max, you did not just propose to me. Yes, I did. Uh, no, a proposal has to be something more than the desperate desire to end a bickering match. It was more than that. Oh, it has to be planned. It, it should be magical. There should be music playing and romantic lighting and, and, and a subtle build-up to the popping of the big question. There should be a thousand yellow daisies and candles and a horse. And I don't know what the horse is doing there unless you're riding it, which seems a little over the top, but I just, it should be more than this. You're right. I am right. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Start the evening over. Ding dong. Now I'm five minutes late. <laughs> well, you're making good progress. Let's go. Bye bye, Bert. I'm a little tired of this game. What game? Are we meeting there or what? What are you talking about? The concert's tonight. Well, I hope you and the empty seat next to you have a lot of fun. I'm starting to get a little irritated here. So am I. What are you mad about? You've been telling everyone that I'm going to this thing with you. Just a couple? You told Paris. Paris and I had just started getting along, and now she hates me again. Well, if the damage is done, you might as well go to PG Harvey with me. Never. Never. I am never going anywhere with you, ever. You know, these tickets cost me a fortune. They cost your daddy a fortune. I don't even know anybody else who's even into this stupid guy. PJ Harvey's a woman. What are you doing? You'll get him back when you agree to go with me. You're pathetic, Tristan. Keep the books. I'm leaving. Dean? Dean! What are you doing here? I'm leaving. Don't go! I shouldn't have come. No, wait! I feel like an idiot. Why? Because I come all the way out here and I, I see you with him. That's just great. No, Tristan was just... I don't care. No, listen. He's got your books, Rory. But he took them. He wouldn't give them back. Please, just tell me why you're here. Uh, I don't even know. Yes, you do. 
Because I thought you... Forget it. No, say it. I thought you were trying to talk to me. Oh. I mean, you came to my house. That wasn't me. It was you. It must have been someone that looked like me. My sister recognized you from the pictures in my box. In what box? The box of stuff I have of us. Pictures and, and letters and everything from you. You have a Rory box? And what was going on at the town meeting? All that stuff about writing a song. I don't know what I was talking about. That had nothing to do with me? Well, I must have imagined it all then. Your boyfriend's waiting. He's not my boyfriend. I hate him. <sighs> Whatever. Dean! What? Stop! Why? Because I love you, you idiot! Do you remember the first kiss? Stars shooting across the sky To come to such a place as this You never left my mind Do you understand what I'm trying to explain to you? Do you speak English? Do, are you listening to me? I'm not ah, what took you? Sorry, I got here as quickly as I could. Hi, Kurt. Do not address him as a scoundrel. I'm just doing my job. What's going on? Am I or am I not the head man in charge of floral deliveries? Yes, and one of the few men I know who would probably declare that fact. I'm just doing my job. Stop saying that. Uh, this has to do with flowers we ordered? Flowers we did not order. I'm just doing my job. Say that one more time and I'm going to punch your nose. It must be a mistake. There's no mistake. I did not order these flowers. It says that you have to be here to personally accept them. But I have to be here. <laughs> well, that's... I am headman in charge of flowers. I just do what I'm told. I want you to stop saying that. That's not what I was saying before. It's a little variation that will still lead to a punch on the nose. <laughs> Daisies, no less. As if I would order these pitiful little things. Foul things, these daisies. And just a notch up from weeds. And look how many. I mean, there must be at least... A thousand of them. A thousand yellow daisies. That's right. There's exactly a thousand of them. Order states that there is to be exactly a thousand. Not a thousand and one, not 999, but a thousand. You ask for a thousand, I bring a thousand. I don't question the orders. I merely fill them. My job well done, Mr. Adolf Eichberg. I couldn't find a horse. You didn't have Don't to. Don't say anything, okay? Please. You were right last night. I shouldn't have proposed to you like that. I mean, it was stupid. It was the wrong place and the wrong time, and I kicked myself the entire night for doing it. But you were wrong about something, too. I didn't propose to you because we were fighting. I, I proposed because I love you. We're in a bad pattern, Lorelai, and we have to break it. And other than that murder-suicide thing you were talking about, which would be illegal and messy, I can only think to be impetuous. Max! No. Listen, I woke up this morning, and I realized that I have studied and taught the great literature all my life. And those stories are replete with characters that let opportunities slip by. But what I teach is more than just literature. It's lessons in life. If I don't follow the tenets of those lessons, I'm not the man I thought I was. The man I want to be. God, you talk so good. I don't want an answer now. I've thought about this. I want you to do the same. I love you, Lorelai Gilmore. And I know this to be true. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> 